Hey guys, I'm Shante from naturalveganmama.com where we're all about showing you how easy this vegan lifestyle can be. Today, I have a small health food store haul for you and everything is from Nutrition Smart. But you can also find these items at places like Whole Foods, Publix, you can find them online and definitely check your local health food stores for these items as well. I'll also be sure to share a recipe with you. I love the idea of showing you guys meals that you can make from all of the ingredients that I show you and I'll also share the total cost at the end. And with that being said, let's get started and let's keep it easy. The first item I picked up was the sparkling mineral water. I love to get this sparkling mineral water. It's from Mountain Valley. And what I like about this is it has the minerals naturally in it. And one of the main minerals it has is magnesium, which I've read a lot of people are deficient in. So I like to have that on hand. Um, I also got this bag of kale, which was really nice. And one thing I love about this place is their produce goes on sale a lot. And they do not throw things out just because of the date is getting near. What they do is if the date um, expiration date is getting near, they'll mark it down and then you can decide whether or not you want to purchase it. So I got that entire bag of kale for 99 cents. And what I like to do with that is put it in the freezer and save it for smoothies. And once I take it out, you know, I'll throw it in a smoothie, smoothie and consume it right away. So it's definitely fresh. Or I'll just go ahead and cook up that bag, you know, the same day so that I don't have to worry about it spoiling. I also picked up this bag of flackers and this snack is basically like organic flax seeds. It has garlic, it has oregano, basil, and a little bit of chili pepper. And one day I want to attempt to make these from scratch, but until then it's nice to just be able to pick up a bag of them already made. You don't go through them really fast like you would regular chips because they're very hearty and you could be satisfied with just like having two or three of them because they're so dense and crunchy so i like to get those they're a little bit pricey but they do last me a few days you know definitely a lot longer than regular chips would because they're not as easy to go through all right i also got those sun-dried tomatoes i plan on using those in a few dishes and i also got five avocados of course always got to get those and i tried this new snack have you guys heard of these it's very similar to edamame um as far as like the shape and the smoothness of the item is but it's soy free and it's made in the Mediterranean or they grow in the Mediterranean that's what the package says and it has a ton of protein that's one thing that drew me to it because I'm always looking for ways to um, make sure I have like some kind of source of protein that's just like only protein and um, I was really excited to try these I wanted them to taste good so bad but I did not like them at all guys um, I actually did like the texture. Let me say that the texture is very similar to like a soaked nut, like almost a cashew. And um, but the flavor was awful. It was really, really bad. I would love to see um, if one of their other flavors tastes good. I'm willing to try another one um, if I try another flavor, but I would not spend my money on it. If I'm at a vegan festival and they're giving out samples I'll try another flavor then, but I really would hate to waste my money again and have it taste as bad as the one that I tried. So, yeah, I just wanted to throw up some information about it and see if you guys have tried it before, but I was not happy with it at all. So some of you guys that have been watching my channel know that I recently got into kelp noodles and I absolutely love them. And a lot of people are asking me if they taste fishy at all. If they have like a, a item from the sea type of taste and they do not they have no taste they totally take on the taste of whatever you season them with i love the texture of them they're just like noodles the only thing is um i recommend watching one of my videos where i show you how to prepare them because it is a raw dish but you could heat them up a little bit if you want to just have it you know turn it into a warm dish here i made this delicious tahini sauce base um it had garlic in it, it had lemon, it was really, really delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and link the recipe below and I'll also put a pop-up so you guys can check that video out. It was super, super creamy, it was so good and um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. This is the tahini that I used. This is really good because it doesn't have any added sugar and it's salt free. So it's really good to use as a base so you can basically add whatever you want and it'll take on um, those flavors. It'll add to the flavor that the, um, the tahini, tahini already has. 
and let's see what else do I got I got some celery I like to have that on hand for recipes and also for snacking like with hummus or with peanut butter it makes a great um, item to dip with gives you a nice crunch nice healthy crunch and um, I also got this sun burger I like to get this from time to time it's a raw burger and I do not um, use it like you know a traditional burger I like to cut it up and put it in a salad it's very delicious this is also something I like to try to make one day because these items can be pretty costly when you buy raw items you know at the health food store but I find that when I make things like this myself they come out um, really good and they tend to not cost as much hmm, imagine that <laughs> so yeah um, all of the items only came up to forty two dollars and nine cents it is kind of expensive for um, the size of the haul but as you can see I got a few pricey items like the tahini is usually pricey um, the kelp noodles are on the pricier side definitely the flackers and that brahmi which was I was disappointed and I wish I didn't buy that but yeah everything else was pretty reasonable the avocados were 99 cents so that was great and the um, mountain valley was on sale I also get a discount at this place because they have a um a first responders discount and I'm a teacher so that's always nice so I don't feel as bad spending money there because you know I'm definitely on a budget and I like to save my coins so yeah that is the um, haul for today guys let me know if you have any questions down in the comments subscribe if you like what you're seeing here and I'm on Facebook and Instagram if you want to check out what I'm doing on the daily and I'll see you guys next time bye